buying land in Jamaica with cash. Cash is gay. Cash is gay. Want to buy land in Jamaica with cash? If so, you have come to the right place. Hi everyone, my name is Paula Roper Bacchus and I am a real estate agent on the beautiful island of Jamaica. The process of buying land in Jamaica is really very straightforward. You will need to know the following. Number one, your budget for your purchase. Number two, your preferred locations. Try to be as specific as possible. Number three, please also specify what size land you are interested in. Are you only seeking a residential lot or are you seeking acreage? This information you will need to determine. Number four, any other information you think I should know? Once I receive your email, I would contact you to set up our land buyers consultation. This can be done over the phone or on a Zoom call. I would use this time to see exactly what your needs are and how best I can assist you in finding the land or residential lot that suits your needs and your budget. I would also take this opportunity to explain to you how the procedure works and what documents you would need to have to get the process started. The list of documents we will require includes number one, valid identification. Identification can be from anywhere in the world. However, it must be government or state issued and it must be valid. Identification can include passport, driver's license, national ID, state identification, or a voter's identification. Number two, proof of funds in the form of a bank statement, a letter from your bank or your bank manager, or a letter from your attorney at law verifying the amount you intend to spend to purchase this property. Number three, completed customer information form. I will email this form to you and you will complete it and email it back to me. Number four, proof of address. This can be in the form of a utility bill or a letter from a notary public or justice of the peace. If you do not have any current utility bills in your name or current address, Number five, I will need a copy of your TRN. TRN stands for a tax registration number, which you can have in a card or in a letter. This is a requirement when purchasing real estate in Jamaica. You do not have to be a Jamaican in order to apply for and receive your TRN. Once this has been completed, and you have provided us with the necessary documents, I would program you into my website and send you daily or weekly updates of lands or residential lots matching your description for you to review. When you see any lands or residential lots you are interested in purchasing, you would send me a quick email to paulasellsjamaica at gmail.com to verify which lands or residential lots you are interested in viewing. Once I receive this email, it is now time to begin your land or residential lot hunt. I will schedule all viewings for you and you will be accompanied by me or one of my reliable agents to view all the lands or residential lots you had chosen on your list. After viewing your options, if you like any of the properties, we would assist you to complete your offer to purchase form and submit it to the owners for a consideration along with your proof of funds to verify how you will be paying for this property. Please note, 
your offer to purchase form cannot be submitted without your proof of funds. The owner will not take your offer to purchase seriously without proof of how the purchase price will be financed. The biggest benefit of purchasing with all cash is that in most instances, you will have autonomy to decide how long the sale will take. In Jamaica, cash sales are normally done between 30 to 60 days from start to finish. Once we get an acceptance, the owners would contact their attorney at law and have them create what is called the agreement for sale. This agreement for sale would be sent to your attorney at law for review. Once your attorney completes their review and have any errors or omissions corrected, if any, then it would be time for you to sign your agreement for sale and pay your deposit. Normally in cash sales, purchasers pay a 10% deposit on signing off the sales agreement after which the agreement for sale would be sent to the owners to sign as well. Once this is completed, we would have a legally binding agreement for sale between you, the buyer, and the seller of the property. Please note, if you do not have an attorney at law, please feel free to send me a quick email to paulasellsjamaica at gmail.com for a good recommendation of a reputable attorney at law. You do not need to be working with me directly to purchase a home for me to give you a good recommendation. Once the agreement for sale has been duly signed and executed by all parties of the agreement, then the 30 or 60 day time period would begin to run. At this time, you can have your surveyor's identification report and valuation reports done. This will ensure that there are no breaches or encumbrances or encroachments on the property and also that the property is valued for what you are paying for it. If you find any anomalies, now would be the time to contact your attorney at law to try to rectify them immediately before your time has lapsed and the final payment of the remaining amount is due. Also, if you would like a referral to a commissioned land surveyor or valuer, please feel free to send me a quick email to paulasellsjamaica at gmail.com and I would be more than happy to refer you to a trusted professional. During this time, the vendor's attorney would have also sent the agreement for sale to the stamp office for the government of Jamaica to have the taxes assessed on the property. The stamp duty is currently 5,000 Jamaican dollars and this is split equally between the buyers and the sellers, each paying 2,500 Jamaican dollars. The transfer tax would also be assessed at this time. This is currently 2% of the sales price and is only paid by the sellers of the property. Once all of this has been completed and you are comfortable moving forward with closing out your purchase and the necessary time has lapsed, you will pay over the remaining amount of your purchase price to your attorney at law, who will then pay over this amount to the seller's attorney at law, who will then send the title to the title's office at the National Land Agency to have your name endorsed on the title as the new owner of the property. Once this has been completed, the title will be sent back to the seller's attorney and then sent to your attorney. You will then receive your title and your letters of possession to take to the Jamaica Public Service, otherwise called the JPS, 
and the National Water Commission, otherwise called the NWC, and the sale would now be completed. Please feel free to send me all your real estate related questions or concerns to 1 866 862 5848 and let's get the conversation started. Bye!